Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. I'm a singer, songwriter, and balladeer. Folk music has always been known for stretching the truth a little bit, so I like to look at some of these songs to see where the truth actually lies. Today, we are going to be looking at the popular folk song, House of the Rising Sun. Is any of it true? Let's find out. There is a house down in New Orleans They call the rising sun It's been the feet of a many a poor girl And me, oh God, I am one House of the Rising Sun was made popular by The Animals in 1964, and in true folk music fashion, there is several alternate versions of this song, and it's so old that the author remains unknown. The song takes place in New Orleans, as suggested in the lyrics, and many believe that it is about a brothel there. According to musician, historian, and song collector Alan Lomax, Rising Sun was a term used for a brothel in old English folk ballads around the 16th century. Many popular versions of this song are sung from the male perspective, and I used to think that that was wrong because it makes so much sense for it to be told from the women's perspective, but it's gone back and forth through many different alternate versions. In fact, the first known recording of this song was sung in the male perspective by Clarence Tom Ashley. So it always goes back and forth. Like I said though, I like to sing it from the female perspective just because I feel like it makes more sense and serves the story of the song better. Go tell my baby sister Not to do what I have done But shun that house down in New Orleans They call the rising sun When you look into the truth behind this classic folk ballad, I find the truth is more in the message rather than the facts that lay within the song. No one has been able to 100% confirm without a doubt the actual location of the House of the Rising Sun. Some believed it to be a hotel in the French Quarter which burned down in the 1820s. Others think that it was the Rising Sun Cafe in the 1860s. Some others believe it was the Rising Sun Hall, which existed in the late 1800s. And a New Orleans guidebook says the actual house is 1614 Esplanade Avenue, which existed between 1862 and 1874 and was said to have been named after its madam, Le Soleil Levant, whose surname means the Rising Sun in French but none of these have been confirmed 100%. My mother, she's a tailor. She sewed my new blue jeans. And my father, he's a gambling man. Dave Von Ronk, who was a folk singer in the 1960s in New York City and probably influenced the animal's recording of the song, he said that he saw a picture of the rising sun on a jail in New Orleans, and he believes that the song is about an all-female prison. Many others believe that this could be the setting for the song, since they interpret the lyrics as being about a woman who murders her alcoholic father and then has to go to prison, citing the ball and chain lyric in the song. I got one foot on the platform And the other on the train
back down to New Orleans Just to wear that ball and chain To me, The House of the Rising Sun is the perfect example of a folk song whose truth is not in the lyrics itself, but in the music and the delivery of the song. All forms of music stretch the truth a little bit to reinforce the message of the song, even though some of the details might be a little bit of a hyperbole. Still, The House of the Rising Sun, when sung from any perspective, tells the story of suffering it's a warning to be careful of the decisions you make and who you surround yourself with. So that's the truth behind this old folk ballad, even though none of the facts can be verified. Sometimes the truth is in the music. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. There is a house down in New Orleans They call the rising sun It's been the feet of many a poor girl And me